let you down, Mrs. Brown. And things seem hard or tough. And people are stupid, obnoxious, or dark. And you feel that you've had quite enough. Just remember that you're standing on a planet that's revolving and evolving at 900 miles an hour. That's orbiting at 19 miles a second, so it's reckoned a sun that is the source of all our power. The sun and you and me and all the stars that we can see are moving at a million miles a day. In an outer spiral arm, 400,000 miles an hour of the galaxy we call the Milky Way. itself contains 500 billion stars. It's a hundred thousand light years side to side. It bulges in the middle, 6,000 light years thick. But by us, it's just a thousand light years wide. We're 40,000 light years from galactic central points. We go round every 200 million years. And our galaxy is only one of millions and billions in this amazing and expanding keeps on expanding and expanding in all of the directions it can whiz as fast as it can go at the speed of light you know 12 million miles a minute and that's the fastest speed there is so remember when you're feeling very small and insecure how amazingly unlikely is your birth and pray that there's intelligent life somewhere out in space because there's bugger all down here Now, there are many reasons why I find that song scientifically inaccurate. It's pathetic, really. The statement that the sun is the source of all our power, well, take geothermal energy. That comes from the heat of the Earth's core. That's generated at least in part by the radioactive decay of uranium. Uranium was formed in supernova explosions. And then the statement that the Earth orbits at 19 miles a second. Well, that would be OK if the Earth's orbit was circular, but in fact, it's elliptical. So it's better to say that the Earth sweeps out equal areas and equal times. Kepler knew that back in 1609. Then a statement that space-time expands at the speed of light. Well, there was a period of expansion, exponential expansion, between 10 to the minus 36 and 10 to the minus 32 seconds after the Big Bang called inflation. In which the Isaac, you are being pedantic. Just remember that you're standing on a planet that's evolving, and you're evolving at 900 miles an hour. That's orbiting at 19 miles a second, so it's reckoned. The sun that is the source of all our power. The sun and you and me and all the stars that we can see are moving at a million miles a day. In an outer spiral arm at 400,000 miles an hour, in a galaxy we call the Milky Way. 